It is, it is official. I have a restraining order on my ex-wife. For the last two and a half years, she has been harassing me on social media, making up false claims of domestic violence, making up false narratives about me, and such as I was abusive, such as I yanked her until she had a miscarriage, such as so many things that I proved in court to be false. And she has been go going on a rampage talking about these things for two years now, despite already proving my innocence and proving her lies. And because of that, a judge granted a restraining order. So she can no longer talk about me without, without consequences of prison. I have no desire to talk about this anymore. I have no desire to have this drama on my page. I have no, no desire to, to have... <laughs> Um, to have any of this stuff continue to go. I never wanted this. Uh, it has consumed my life. It has destroyed my mental health. And it is finally over. So she can no longer speak about me unless she wants to go to jail. And I'm, I'm done with this stuff. I'm done. Like, I, I got pushed too far. For those of you Nigerians wondering what's the consequences of that, getting a restraining order on you is a, is a crime of moral turpitude. She could be deported for this. So her desire to destroy the father of her children has backfired in her face. And I have been absolutely trying to take the high road, been trying to even protect her because the consequences of what she's doing result can be very severe um, but it's gone too far and at the end of the day you got to protect your mental health and let nobody steal it from you so bloggers that are out there tarnishing my name making up lies trying to destroy my reputation it's time to get a job it's time for you to move on because you're not going to have any content anymore the only content that i'm going to be doing is educational content the only content she's going to be doing is probably shaking her ass so report on that i am done with this like <clears throat> done so this woman can no longer mention my name if she does let me know i will be on the phone with the police because i'm tired of being harassed the harassment has severely affected my mental health the harassment is it's affect every aspect of my life, my business, my personal life, my ability to maintain relationships with other humans, um, <clears throat> my ability to be a loving, caring father to my children, because um, I'm just tired. I'm just emotionally exhausted from having so many people on the internet believe this woman's lies, despite being caught in so many lies. It's amazing to me. So... <clears throat> I will not be speaking about any of this stuff again. It is over. Bloggers get a job. 7-Eleven's probably hiring. McDonald's. You obviously don't have a skill set that's worth sharing. So get a job. Um, this is over. Absolutely 100% over. Men out there, you win in the court system. People on social media will, will not help you win. Um, the truth will always win and it did, because now I have a restraining order. She can no longer speak about me, no longer, no longer use the pity card of, I was an abused domestic violence survivor. All this bullshit that she's made millions of dollars off of and scammed all of you guys for years now. It's pathetic, it's disgusting, and I wanna raise my daughters to be honorable, trustworthy, respectful young women not scammers on the internet. So, I'm out of here. I don't wanna talk about this anymore. I wanna go back to educational content and I want to live a normal life. And I will now have a chance to do that because law enforcement is on my side. So, it's over. It's over. The consequences of violating a restraining order is one year in prison. So it's over. I'm out of here. I'm going to go spend time with my kids, celebrate peace, which is what I've been trying to strive for for years now. Yes, I've gone on here and told them my side of the story. Many of you guys have seen my post 
my mental health is suffering because I've been harassed for things I never did and it's gonna have it's gonna have consequences for the rest of my life and for somebody that immigrated here dedicated five years of my life hundreds of thousands of dollars to build up her career this is an injustice to humanity you don't bite the hand that fed you so I'm out of here I'm gonna go play with my kids until they're so tired that they fall asleep because that's what I want to do I want to have the energy to play with my kids and raise them in a loving peaceful home and that has been stolen from me by the this psychopath so I'm out of here everyone cheers to peace cheers to using the court systems to, to honor and uphold the truth and and everyone I'm being called I'm being summoned by my children and the nanny and everyone that's out there supporting lies shame on you cheers everyone everyone go have it go have a celebratory drink exercise whatever you want it is over finally I can have some peace after seven years I'm out of here